All right, man. We're here with the Sancho Loco Show. Uh, 90.3 FM Radio Suerte. And uh, the Let's Talk About It YouTube channel. I got my very first guest who's a boxer. I, I usually end up doing, you know, stuff with music or charity stuff that's on my YouTube. And I decided that, you know what, I'm going to take things in a little bit different direction. And I'll tell you why. Um, I feel like there's individuals out there that, that really have a story to tell. And when I met you, I said, you know what, man, this guy's got a lot of character to himself. And, uh, you know, he's a, he's a fighter. He's a father. He's a hungry guy that's still out there on the grind, man. Uh Serge, man, introduce everybody to who you are. <laughs> Hello, my name is Sergio Jimenez. I got many nicknames, you know, Serge, Checos, Cachania. So nice to meet everybody. And, uh, you know, tell everybody what your record is, man. Uh, professional boxer, currently 5 0, 5 knockouts, and uh, keeping the streak going. 5 0, man. What, what's the street record? The street, <laughs> yeah, 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 street, the street record, record man. Uh, unknown to me. Unknown. <laughs> it's yeah, unknown. We don't, we don't want to incriminate ourselves. Right. <laughs> Uh, but hey, man, what what got you? I know for everybody, there's a different reason. What what got you started out in boxing? To be honest, it was just a group of my buddies, and we were in uh, what is it, J High or going into early high school freshman year. Where'd you grow up at, man? I grew up in Baldwin Park. Okay, in Baldwin San Park. Valley. Yeah. So um, they just decided to hit up the the community center, the gym there, and I was like, all right, I'll tag along. And one thing led to another, just kept going and going, and I started at 15 years old and. On and off, I'm in my early 30s now, and I've been in the gym ever since. Man, 15 years old. So you, you've you been boxing for, what, like uh, 15, 20 years already? Something like that. Like I said, on and off, but it wasn't until, you know, I really took my uh, my career loss series just this past year. Yeah, so um, have you, I mean, you're 5-0 and in your professional record. Um, were there any losses along the way in amateurs before you turned pro? Yes, of course. Uh, I turned... I did a lot of amateur. Um, I fought in like three different weight classes in my amateur career. I fought at low, as low as 152 all the way to as high as 178. And um, like when you take a loss, you know, for a lot of people, uh, it can mean different things. It could They could come out of it different ways. How do you kind of regain yourself from a loss, man? Like what, what what's your mindset after you lose? Well, again, this was in uh, in the amateur, so I always took it as a learning experience. You know, this is somewhere where I could grow and get better for my next fight, what not to do. Yeah. So that's the way I always see it. That's something that my trainer kind of just, you know, put so you in my mind. You feel like you feel like since you went pro and you're you now you're going to different areas and and fighting different people. Do you feel like you're kind of like a seasoned vet where you kind of know already what to do and you can kind of read people better? and? Yeah, even though I have just five fights. Yeah. But yes, I do. Why is that? Because I've been in the gym for a long time. I have hundreds of rounds, you know, sparring with world champions. Yeah. So I, I think that ha that's uh, an experience on my end. Who are some of the people like like you've trained with that, you know, people may know? Brandon Adams, they call him the Cannon. Um uh, David Benavides, Anthony Sims Jr., Diego Pacheco. I mean, the list just goes on. Uh, Beck, uh, Uzbekistan uh, kid. They just fought Gabriel Rosado recently. Okay, so. and and why are you still fight? Like, you know, you're in your 30s. That's a long time. That's a lot of, you know, wear and tear. Why are you still fighting? And what do you say to people that are... Because there's people... I mean, I personally don't think this way, but I'm just thinking like... The general public. Yeah. People say, oh, you know, he's in his 30s. What is he doing fighting still? Like, if there's, you know, does he want to be a champion? Or what's the purpose of you fighting and continuing this? I've always uh, felt like there was still room for me yeah. to do something in the sport. And a lot of people, you know, want to say, oh, I want to become world champion. I've always just take it day by day. Right. I'm going to go as far as this, you know, this sport takes me. Yeah. If I get the opportunity, then, you know, Lord of let me see what happens. Yeah. But uh, I still feel like I have a lot to prove. And I have not really been touched or marked up like that in, yeah. you know, in a professional where people just they start so young. But by, by the time they're my age, they just, their eyebrows are cut everywhere. And they just, they have a lot of uh, terror in their, in their face. 
But I feel like I still have a lot to prove, and I think I'm making a statement thus far. What What do you say to the to like the naysayers, the people that doubt you? Like, what's a message to them? Like, just enjoy the ride because it's gonna be a great show. <laughs> yeah. Do you Do you uh, have any sort of fears? Like, do you have any sort of fears in in boxing and like people you like? It could be anything, any kind of fear. Fear of just failing, failure, not doing something that I've always wanted to do. For example, just, I wish, or many people could say, oh, I wish I could have done this when I was younger. Right. I should have done that. You know, the woulda, coulda, shoulda. That's something that I fear, that I lack of. I don't want to get older and say, man, I so wish I could have done this when I had the opportunity and I never did it. So that's something that I, you know, I don't want to, you know, grow old and say, man, I should have done this. Yeah, they say that fear is kind of like the best motivator. Exactly. So, like, uh, so for some people, like, you know, when you're a kid or you don't want to get in trouble, so that's the fear of getting in trouble. For some people, fear is success, like the fear of failing and not being successful. So, your fear is just uh, not, you know, experiencing the full potential of your life and doing the things you love to do. Exactly. And that's what keeps you passionate. So, uh, you're climbing that mountain, man, and, and uh, you know, you're going to get... You're going to get up that mountain one day. So congratulations on that. You just had that win, bro. Thank you. Appreciate and that. Uh, and I seen a little videotape from somebody that had went to the fight. Okay. And man, it, I, it was pretty impressive. So, you know, congratulations on that, man. What is, like, how do you measure success? I mean, I guess just, in my opinion, just the amount of work that you put in, you know, shows, you know, everything that I've, worked for thus far has gradually you know shown in, in, in my life so I think that uh, that right there is just a success alone so I'm looking forward to see you know what else is uh is, is in store for me so when you win uh when you win a fight do you get a super sense of security or do you like like are you secure with yourself and you're like you know what I could take the next fight on and whatever opponent and um just continue this journey and and i'll fight whoever or do you stay humble and you're like i'm just gonna go down the road and whatever comes my way i'll tackle it then yeah that's pretty much me i think i just whatever comes my way i, I just go for it you know go from there because at the end of the day you know what there's levels to this game yeah you know you just gotta learn how to climb that ladder and uh just one step at a time. What's some of the what's some of the struggles like as an independent boxer? Because because you're not si you're not signed right now. I'm not right? signed. No, I'm not. You're not signed. So anybody that's you know looking to sign a boxer, he's here. But <laughs> uh, you're not signed. But what are some of the struggles like financially that you go through, being that you're independent and you know you have to. F basically fund these fights it's pretty it's a pretty expensive journey yeah it's pretty expensive but you know just trying to make it yeah uh, going out there you know networking trying to find some potential sponsors that would be willing to uh, invest in me and uh, know that what i'm valuable and what i'm worth and i think that after this fight i think i made a statement and people are, are really trying to uh tune in because i'm an exciting fighter and i'll give the fight fans a great show Right, and, and uh, do you have anybody you have your eyes on right now that you're, you're looking to fight next? or? Actually, uh, I'll break the news. I am actually uh, am going to be fighting soon uh, back in uh, Mexico, March 12th in San Luis. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. And, and who's on that card with you? Uh, two of my buddies and another friend of mine that I know is uh, George Estrada. So he's, uh, Estrada. So he should be, uh, he's also an up-and-coming uh, prospect, so look out for that kid. Uh, is there any sort of like, um, is there any people that you encounter that, I mean, because I know that in the boxing game, people turn on each other all the time. Promoters turn on it's writers. Game. It's a dirty game, man. And, yeah. and uh, we, you know, I'm not going to name any names that we've experienced that, um, you know, the last month or so. Just watching things. It's kind of like the entertainment business. The entertainment business uh, you can't take things at face value, you know, like there's always two sides to the story and also Sometimes it looks good on Instagram, but it's really not good in life. You right. Know? Exactly. And so uh, What are some of the things that bother you about like the boxing industry? 
I, I mean, I guess it's just, you know, having your so-called friends or uh, business partners, whatever you want to call them, they just, they lie to you in front of your face, you know, they and then turn it back and just say, oh, we're really good friends or so-and-so, I want to help you out, but yeah, really don't do it. Yeah. But it's just, I mean, More like day, support issues. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's just like, you know, you got to just have your inner circle, have the people you trust and just kind of move, move forward. So what, like, really, if you really think about it, what kind of makes you, like, get up in the morning, look in the mirror and say, you know what, I'm going to continue the fight? Like, what, what's, what motivates you? A lot of people will say, you know, family, um, you know, whatever, but yeah. it's just, it's myself, it's just that willpower in me that I know what I'm worth, what I'm destined to be. Yeah. And that just motivates me to just keep pushing even harder. I feel like there's a story behind me where I can show some people and just, you know, and just say, man, like, there's no age limit to do anything. If you work really hard, you really can achieve anything in your life. And just, you know, obviously I always put God first, but that's one of my go-tos. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I don't think there's enough of that, that uh, pe mm. people will lose sight of that because we always put God in the box and I, I really feel like, Sometimes you got to pull them out, but, um, you know, uh, there's Ryan Garcia's out there. There's Oscar De La Hoya. There's Julio Cesar Chavez, Chavez Jr. Yeah. Some of the great legends. And then you got Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I met Jake Paul like two years ago in uh, South Beach. I wasn't intrigued, man. I wasn't impressed. Um, yeah, he's gotten a lot better, but I mean, he's never fought nor really professional boxer he fights a bunch of retired old football players or basketball players that are really have no business in a ring but you know that's what people are nowadays social media that's what people want to see so if you got a big following then hey and a big name then we want to tune in i'm i'm super excited that um you know you came down to do this interview um what are some of the things that we could uh, be looking out for in the future and um, I know you were on Marv Nation. Uh, would you like to go to another promotion or are you just kind of open to whatever? I'm freelance, exactly. I'm open. You know, whatever, whoever wants to take an opportunity to uh, invite me and bring me on their card, I'm open. Um, I think I've made a statement this past uh, fight. I've had the fight fans loud, screaming. I, I can pull a crowd and I give people an exciting fight. You you will want to see me fight again. That's one thing for sure. And 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 you plan on having a long fight career or um i mean again we're i'll, I'll go as, as long as my body allows me and as long as you know i, I can keep doing it that's awesome man yeah. um any any shout outs to any individual um just my my entire team you know they keep pushing me they, they keep make, 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 making me better uh my family all my sponsors that they, they believe in me from day one so uh, thank you for each and every single one of you too many to mention so but all of you thank you for your support yeah, and I want to give a shout out to uh, Bugatti AP, Jose and John, man. Those are my boys. Uh, SOA, thank you for the opportunity. You guys have been great for me, you know, to me. Yeah, man. And anybody that wants to sponsor, um, you know, him, uh, watch the YouTube, subscribe, go to my Instagram. Go to what, what's your Instagram out there, bro? Checo El Cachania. Oh, I, I might have to. I, I might I'll, have I'll to post it. it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to post that one, bro. That one kind of hurt to listen to. Bro. <laughs> right? Yeah, you know. Uh, but it's cool, man. I'll, I'll post it on the video. Okay. Uh, you can check out um, this video and, and then uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's talk about it. Look me up under Sancho Loco Show. And uh, go to my Instagram, at Sancho Loco Show, all which will be posted here. Um, and then there's another uh, website uh, that I recommend called SOA Boxing. Uh, check them out. And uh, Marv Nation, anybody, uh, anybody want to shout out? Um, just, just Marv Nation, thank you for the opportunity you gave me guys last time and uh, I got to uh, you know, really just showcase my talent. Again, all my sponsors from Tin House, SSR, you know, the Wilmington Teen Center, Isaac's Cafe, uh, Long Beach Bike Club, um, everybody. LBC, yeah, man. LBC, man. The that's right. LBC, I train, so baby. That's where I train and, I, and also Wilmington as well. So yeah. I, I, I go to two gyms, one in the morning, one at night. So I, I thank uh, everybody for, you know, allowing me there and to train and just being very helpful to me yeah thank thank you for coming out brother i really really appreciate you oh, man you you're, you're, very, you're a very sincere humble guy man and, and we look forward to uh 
supporting you on all your upcoming fights. And uh, I appreciate that. Man, peace, brother. Much love. Thank you.